look at the guidelines, do not send letters in that say, I don't want this development to go ahead because I don't like it, or it's too near to me, or I live next door to it. You need the kind of technical points that Andrea was setting out earlier on. And just to add, we've got a copy of Andrea's presentation if you want to take that with you to help you write your response. Um, and <laughs> again, you can also find uh, that on the Bloomfield Parish website. Yeah. Legal compliance and soundness should form part of your sentencing. Have we got a template? Is there a yes. template to apply? There is. Yes, it's not a template which suggests I'm telling you what to say. It's, it's a, you know, they're guidelines that we hope that it will help you to construct an argument that won't be thrown away. Um, thank you, Peter Montana, and that's an enormous amount of past through and being able to use the social lot. Um, I'm just from the point of view of soundness, as you mentioned, I wonder if you can give us a little bit more detail on why you said at the beginning that the development would not produce enough money to deliver the promised infrastructure. Because it seems that if this is a really back of the envelope massage assertion that they've made, we could combat this on the soundness principle, but only if you can give us a few more figures as to why we should make that point. Uh, on, the, on that technical argument, the document that I referred to earlier is called the Infrastructure Delivery Plan. It's on the Tandridge District Council website where there's a heading, Evidence Base and Technical Assessments. So it's part of the 2018 set of documents. And it is basically a shopping list of all the things that Tandridge want to do in the next few years in order to alleviate the the problems that they created by not delivering the infrastructure as they've allowed the house building. Um, so there's this shopping list, it's very extensive and it largely depends on the development of the garden village providing a huge amount of money. However, in the case of Starfields, if it is 60 houses, I have already been told by Tandridge of the planning officers it is not enough to trigger any request from either the health authority or the education authority for additional funding for the surgery or the school. So we'd have to write that one out. Um, the infrastructure list that Tandridge have set up at Linkfield is an unrealistic objective. And so that is absolutely unsound because it is completely undeliverable. How can 60 houses contribute seven and a half million pounds for a new surgery? So, so that is absolutely blatantly unsound. And the other thing about the infrastructure delivery plan, with regards to this disabled access crossing at Linfield Station, Network Rail have already agreed to fund it themselves. So Tangent are just putting it in the document to take a bit of credit. But if you were to add up every single item in that infrastructure delivery plan uh, and then try and estimate the ones that they haven't put prices next to, like upgrading the A22, upgrading the M25 uh, and A22 roundabout at Watson's Lodge or whatever it's called at Sutler Godston, um, and dealing with the flood problems in Caterham, um, there is no way that that six and a half uh, 6,000 houses is going to pay for that infrastructure. So absolutely, the infrastructure delivery plan is unsound because it is unrealistic and undeliverable.